a barbershop on wheels and free haircuts is one way to promote a movie if your movie just happens to be called Barbershop. The fresh cuts and a meet and greet with the film's stars was all about connecting with fans on a six city promotional tour. Guess who's back? Welcome to Calvin's. If you like it, you pay. If you don't like it, jazz pay anyway. 12 years after the release of the original movie Barbershop in 2002, Barbershop The Next Cut is the third installment in the popular franchise. We're here in Washington, D.C., Busboys and Poets for the Barbershop The Next Cut meet and greet. So we got Cedric the Entertainer, Regina Hall, Ice Cube, Quicksilver, I'm here. I mean, you should be here. I'm not sure why you're not here. For fans who stood in line outside Busboys and Poets near the historic U Street corridor, the opportunity to meet the cast was worth the wait. I want to thank everybody for coming out to see. Me and said, you know, we love DC. Uh, we got a great movie, uh, Barbershop The Next Cut. And we definitely had to come to DC because we know you guys have that neighborhood flavor that we always looking for. Even funnier than the original Barbershop, The Next Cut uses humor to tackle serious social issues. The, the social consciousness missions of both the franchise of the barbershop and Busboys and Poets, I think, are so well aligned. Once again, starring multi-talented Ice Cube, Barbershop The Next Cut boasts an impressive cast, featuring several famous faces. We want to have a good reason to do it. And, uh, you know, now Calvin has a son that's 14, that has dreads now, and he don't care about no barbershop. And, he wants to hang out in the street, so it's all about a father trying to keep his son out the street. So it's a great message. Cedric, the entertainer who hails from St. Louis, Missouri, where social issues are front and center, is back talking smack in the movie as Eddie. This is my best work. I bet you he won't be talking back to his mama no more, him that George Jefferson. <laughs> I reprise my role of Eddie. This is the older barber in the shop. Free-spirited, talks, and, you know, a lot of trash. I keep a lot of the comedy relief going in the movie, but at the same time, it's a serious subject matter. While local fans couldn't help but love a free cut, cast members of Barbershop 3 showed nothing but love for D.C. D.C. just is uh, it's just an amazing city in general. I mean, a lot of culture, a lot of energy here. You walk around, you see people, uh, people uh, in charge of things, you know what I'm saying, black folks. 